What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering a question from someone who commented on one of my recent videos. It's like, how do I start making money if I have nothing? And one of the most important things that I think anyone can do and anyone can change. First of all, I always tell people to read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It talks about assets and liabilities, quick breakdown. An asset is something that you buy that makes you money, and a liability is something that you buy that you don't make any money, where you're just losing your money. And what I do, and what I've done since I was a little kid, is I have only bought things that make me money that I enjoy. Hence my brand, Funtrepreneurship. Funtrepreneurship is basically what I've called myself. And I'm gonna show you around my house real quick. I will show you that basically everything that you see in my house is something that makes me money. Starting with this truck. I just bought this truck recently. It was around $100,000 after all expenses and everything. But this truck is gonna make me so much money. It's reliable, it's safe, and one of the biggest things that I'm worried about being on the road this often is getting into a car crash and dying or something like that. So this is the safest truck you could basically buy, in my opinion. It's got self-driving, basically like we'll avoid car accidents, all kinds of other stuff. Um, the next thing we'll see, that's not mine, that's my roommate's car, is this trailer. So I have three of these 24 foot trailers. One's only 22 feet, but this trailer cost me around $20,000. It is full of an entire off axis stunt show stage. The entire thing is full with all of our equipment and all this other stuff, which probably ranges around like another 50K or so. It's probably a mess, I haven't been in here in a while, but this is what our stage looks like when it's all packed up. We got a trampoline, we got ramps, we got tramp walls, we got a teeter board. Looks like one of the straps broke down and uh, gotta work on that soon. Okay, anyways, so let's move on. Right over here, we have a storage container that's got around 4,000 pairs of shoes. Um, obviously that's an investment. Come over here, Sorry, my house is quite a mess. We got tools and stuff that make me money. We got another trampoline, makes me money. More equipment, always making me money. Right over here, we got a teeter board, making me money. Yeah, again, my backyard's quite a mess right now. So that's the next thing we're on, but I just got back yesterday from a nine month tour. Cold plunge, most people can argue that's probably one of the only things that I own that doesn't make me money. This was also free, this boxing bag doesn't count. But I don't short ever on things that make my body feel good because I'm an athlete. So everything I try to do is to make my body perform better. So that way I'm not a broken acrobat at the end of it. So cold plunge, great investment in my opinion. Um, that's probably the only things I ever buy is things that are for my body that would be considered a liability, but I still consider it an asset because I am a professional acrobat. Storage thing over here, full of tools, making me money. Another trailer right here, full of equipment. Two more trailers right over here, full of equipment. This is the new tramp all trailer. This trailer cost me around 20 grand before I started turning into the tramp all trailer. And then we had another about six grand or so, would have cost me even more money had I not been doing most of the work myself. Uh, probably would be around like 40 grand project. Obviously, another trailer right over here. This one's got the mini mega ramp in it, the new airbag and stuff. All things that I bought that are making me money. And almost all these things that I'm showing you guys, I bought within the last year. So then we're gonna go into my house. I'm gonna give you guys a brief tour. It's not very clean, so hopefully my girlfriend doesn't get mad at me for going into the house. But here we go. So pretty much everything in here is going to be making me money. My, got, we got my computer right over here. Obviously that makes me money. We got this $10,000 massage chair, not making me any money. I should charge rent for people to get into it, but I wouldn't do that. Um, that's probably a liability to be honest, but it still helps my body. I bought this other stupid thing. You stand on it and it like vibrates. Uh, it's not plugged in, but basically it like shakes your whole body. It feels so good. The reason I bought it was because when I got onto it, it basically like made my back problems go away. So if we go into the garage, again, we will even see more things that are making me money. A lot of this stuff isn't mine, but we got tools, we got a welder, 
We have airbag pump. Basically, like, as I was saying, and then we have another thousand pairs of shoes. Basically, everything, if you walk around my house, is going to be something that is making me money. So, I'm telling you guys this because you need to start thinking about the things that you purchase. When you're going out and you're going shopping or something like that, you're buying some stupid ass clothes or anything. Let's just flip this real quick. Instead of buying some stupid t-shirt from Zoomies, you could buy five blank t-shirts from JiffyShirts.com, make your own logo. It'll probably be around the same and then you have them printed on your, your shirts. Let's say a regular shirt costs you, I don't know, let's say 35 bucks from Zoomies. You can get five logos printed for probably around like 10 to 15 bucks depending on what size you do. And then you can get five shirts from JiffyShirts.com. You can get any size you want, whatever. They're gonna be around $5 each. So basically just flipping that from buying some stupid shirt from Zoomies, now you could have five shirts that you sell and then also you can have like the beginning of a clothing brand or something along those lines. So that's one of the main things that I would say has been my success is like I only buy things that make me money. Everything that I buy is something that's going straight to the business. Everything, this camera, I just spent two grand on it. It's going to make me money. So by just switching your mindset from buying stupid things that are considered liabilities, just stop and look at what you're spending your money on. Or instead of thinking of how do I make money, how do people take money from me? How, like when you walk through the day, every time you spend money on your credit card or whatever it is, think about how did they just take this money? Did they, was it a coffee shop that had really good marketing or something like that? Maybe you can apply that same exact tip that you got from the coffee shop towards yourself or your business or whatever it is. In my opinion, just understanding how other people are taking money from you is a great way to start. So I hope that answers the question that I got on where to start if you have no money to work with. Because of course, yeah, people say it takes money to make money, but if you just start by just focusing on what you're spending your money on, you will be significantly better. Just keep buying things. Like I always tell people, a camera is like the greatest place to start because you can almost instantly, with just a few YouTube tutorials, be considered a professional cameraman and you can make pretty decent money. My first business, that I started, I made over a hundred grand in the first year and it was literally just creating social media content for other companies, mostly for the company that I work for, Razor, you know, the scooter company. After I quit there, they became my biggest client for my first social media slash content creation business. And yeah, and then I started off access, so here we are. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully like it doesn't come off as like me just bragging to you guys about how much money I have. I'm trying to show you guys the things that I would do if I was to start from scratch and the things that I've been doing for a very long time. Just only buy things that you enjoy, of course, because buying things that you don't enjoy, it's gonna be harder, you know? That's why my brand, Funtrepreneurship, I think is the way to go. I'm also writing a book called Funtrepreneurship. At least I think it's gonna be called Funtrepreneurship. I don't know, I have like, sort of an outline of the book done, but it's definitely a project I've been working on for a few years. I already bought the like domains and stuff on it, so we'll see. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys can take some tips from this and apply it to your own life. And let me know what you guys want to see me make content down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, everyone.